hello everyone welcome back to my channel let's make some fufu and goat light soup this week it's been a long time since i made a fufu recipe so let's get right into it the spices i used to season my meats um, were garlic ginger rosemary grains of salem and some cloves so i grinded everything together then i added some goat seasoning and salt the um my preferred choice of goat seasoning is always the remy goat seasoning it's really good so i recommend it i used two sachets of that then i added some water to it stirred everything together then i left it to cook for a while about 10 minutes As you know light soup is one of the simplest soups that you can make and this is no exception okay once um you season your meat you're adding the vegetables blending adding it back that is all very simple to make okay you just have to build the flavor so you end up with tasty soup So when my meat has boiled for a while, I add my blended onions. I like to do um, blend it freshly and add it to the soup. I am not one to cook my onions to add to my soup. I find that it's more flavorful that way. That's just me, okay? So do it to your discretion. Then I add some um, tomato puree. I'm going to stir everything together. That's like the base of the soup, okay? Just stir everything together. Leave it to cook for about five minutes. Then I'll come and add my next set of ingredients. Okay, so it's time to add the vegetables. I added five tomatoes and then four garden eggs. I'm going to, and then um, a handful of peppers. Use the peppers to your discretion, okay? I'm going to let this cook with the um, meat. And then when it's cooked, I'll come back, take it out, and then blend. You can blend this or you can grind this and then add it back to the pot of soup. Once my tomatoes and peppers are out, um, I add the water to the soup. Please use your discretion. If you like your soup light, you can add a lot of water. I don't like watery soup, so I always, um, I'm careful with the amount of water I put in my soup. So I've blended the tomatoes and peppers here. I'm adding it back in, okay? Okay, so once that's done, I'll give it a good stir so that everything mixes nicely and then I'll leave it to boil um, until the garden eggs is soft enough to blend. So I decided to add one shrimp tablet to it, seasoned cube. That was all the seasoning. I didn't even add salt afterwards. It tasted good enough. So the next thing I'll do will be to blend the garden eggs Then I'll strain it back inside the soup and then just leave it to cook and then that's it my soup will be ready so yeah it's still boiling here just a few more minutes and then the soup is done so from this point on you just lower your flame and then let the soup simmer okay one way that you can tell when your soup is ready is the oil forms on top of it and then the meat becomes quite tender okay so that's it with the pot of soup that we just made it's only right that we pair it with fufu <laughs> okay so i cooked some cassava and um, plantains please you want to pound your plantains whilst they're still hot just so you avoid lumps okay so pound that separate i like to pound it separately and then i'll pound the cassava separately then i bring everything together then pound it until it's soft and then it's lump free uh, if there's one thing i hate in my life is full full of lumps so i always like to take my time at this at this step and then you know um end up with good fufu my fufu is all done here and it's time to serve <laughs> so <laughs> My soup is also done in all of its glory. And when I tell you this food slapped in, ah ah. When I finish, I slept. Yes. So I've come to the end of my video. 
please make some fufu this week and enjoy yourself okay don't just work to pay bills give yourself a treat eat well okay live well thank you so much for stopping by thank you so much for watching my video i hope to see you in my next one god bless you and bye